guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you're into 3D printing, photography and drawing, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. We're gonna review a printer today, my first resin printer that's capable of doing stuff like this. We're talking about the Nova 3D Elfin 2 Mono SE. It's been a couple of weeks, I've had this printer and uh, I had to learn all the process and it was fun, it was really fun. Before getting into the review, I would like to tell you about a collaboration I have ongoing with this really good friend of mine, Giuseppe. He has an Instagram page, 3D Print All. He talks about 3D printers, he talks about filming, he talks about application of electronics to 3D printing. It's a great place to go and get inspiration from. You see new models, he has collaboration with the most important and new designer of 3D pieces out there. You must go and pay him a visit. All the links will be down in the description. Go pay him a visit, he deserves it. So Nova 3D reached out to me and they sent me this unit, the Elfin 2 Mono SE to review. And uh, it's a great printer, as I said. It's my first resin one, so it was the first time I had to deal with cleaning, washing a print, and UVA it, and like cure it, as they say. And uh, it was a really, really good experience as a first uh, time trier on a resin printer and uh, it made me want to print more and more and more because the detail you see with a resin printer you cannot find with an FDM it's like it's, there's nothing to do Standard unboxing, uh, I must say that some of the wrapping was not eco-friendly, so Nova 3D fix that if you're watching this video. You need to take care of the environment as soon as possible. All the other unboxing I've done, they were all disposable material, but that white polystyrol was really hard to get out. Going back to the printer, uh, all the accessories were there. There was a spatula, plastic spatula, there was an additional FAP which was really, really good, especially on a starter uh, medium uh, price uh, printer. There was 250 grams of gray resin, which was really, really good. I tried all, some of the prints I've done, I've done with that. I preferred starting with the washable uh, in water resin that I got off uh, Amazon, but then I realized that yeah, it's easier because you can wash it in water, but it doesn't offer the same level of detail than the resin that you need to wash in isopropyl alcohol. To tell the truth, I thought that washable resin would stink and would smell less than, uh, than the regular resin. That's not true, they both smell. So be aware of that if you're thinking about getting a resin print, they smell a little bit. I'm using it indoors in my studio, but very close to the window, so the window was open. Summer is coming, so there's no problem with temperature, and it was nice and ventilated, but you can feel it. So always wear a mask and gloves when you're holding this kind of material, when you're handling resin and when you're cleaning your parts, always use gloves and a mask. I would also suggest to use plastic glasses. They are never... Uh, you, you could never know, something, some small piece of the of, of, of a support can go in your eye, it's better if that doesn't happen. Going back to the printer, it's completely metal body, it's like very, very sturdy uh, printer, you can see it, the Z-axis is completely metal, the plate is all metal, you can feel that it's worth the money you spent and it's really, really well made. This printer is all metal except the screen here, the shield and the plastic cover on the, on the bottom. LCD display is really, really good. It works with every angle. It has a little bit of a tilt and it works so you can see it if it's standing on your, 
on your um, on your desk and it's lower than your position what I loved about this printer is Wi-Fi for the first time you don't have to take and spend time putting stuff on the pen and then loading it and then putting it here and charging it for there this little beast here connects to the Wi-Fi and through the program you can send the the STL, uh, the G code, let's call it G code, even if it has another format, straight from the, your computer to this machine and print it out. So that's a great feature and a thumbs up to Nova 3D printer. As mentioned, all the bed is metal. And as you can see here, also the build plate has a little bit of tilt. So the resin will fall back in the plate. This comes out with a very, very easy screw here. You need to hold this with two hands. You don't want it to fall inside the build plate and break everything. So be careful doing this. And it's a very, very easy system. I find it to be very, very easy. All the bearings here on the Z axis are all metal and work really, really fluid. And the print is extremely silent when, when it prints. You don't hear anything. The only thing I heard a couple of times was the print sticking a little bit to the uh, to the fab and like when it was pulling it up it was, you could feel it like a couple of times until the print got going and didn't have any any other issue but it's a really really well made printer it feels really really sturdy on uh, on, on the desk it won't go anywhere you won't have any wobbles or anything leveling of this printer is something you do once and you never do again you just bring the plate down unscrew the six small bolts you have here and use a piece of paper to level it perfectly then tighten the the, the bolts and you're ready to go your your bed will never move it's nice and sturdy and it will be leveled for a long time i mean you use five minutes now and you don't have to use them anymore for a long time another interesting feature is the tray here it unscrews from here and what you have is a tray with small feet here. So whenever you want to lean, uh, le uh, lean it on something, it will lean without scratching the, the, the fab. And it's really good because it goes in place perfectly without scratching or, you know, without moving. So it's nice in place and the mechanism works perfectly. All the doors of this printer are here on the back, close to the huge vent that's positioned here in the back. You have a LAN port, you have a USB port, and you have the power port. USB, I still don't know what's in this pen because I never used it. I used the Wi-Fi and it worked great for me. So resolution on this printer is 0.05 millimeters on the XY and 0.01 on the Z. It has a speed of 20 to 40 millimeters per hour and a 60 watt power, but you will never get to that. It's like 12 volts with five amperes. LCD display is a 4.3 inches. Angle is great, as I said, because you can see it from very different angles. And even if it's sitting on a table or up in a, in a, on a shelf. It has a very, very easy menu. Something that I forgot to tell you is that this little beast here has eight gigabytes of storage, internal storage. So you can store, create folders and send all the files that you want ready to print right to the printer. And then you can like, you know, erase them and, uh, and manage all your files directly from their application. Now, what about the slicer? When I started the review, the first thing I noticed was that you could not use this printer or any Nova 3D printers with Chi2 box. That's not true because a couple of days ago I released a video, I got in contact with Nova, they answered and replied and they told me how to configure Chi2 box to slice pieces for your Nova 3D printers. You'll find a link to the video up here and also down in the description. Anyway, their slicer, the Nova Maker, it's not bad. It's like really, really easy and simple. I started using that. I used that for the last week or so. I was able to slice this, what do you call it? Uh, Pikachu model, which was unthinkable of like printing with uh, an FDM printer. I think it's called Voronoi Pikachu. 
If I find the link, I'll link it down in the description for you. And it worked, it worked great. It has this feature of auto supports, which is really, really good. Of course, you have to like tweak it a little bit, but it's, it's essential. I mean, you have resize, rotate. You can do pretty much uh, what you can do with another slicer. Once you slice a piece, you can send it directly to the printer and it will get stored on its hard drive. You will find it whenever you wanna, you wanna print it right from the menu and it worked great. This feature of sending the file straight from the Wi-Fi to the printer, it's something that should be implemented in all 3D printers, also on FDM printers. So that's something I really, really liked. It made the experience much, much easier, even because you had to think about like the resin, the tray had to be cleaned, you know, you had to wash the prints, then you had to like UV dry them. I had to buy a nail uh, dryer for the UVA lights and that worked really, really good for me. But now the question that you're probably asking yourself is how does it print? And guys, it's my first resin printer, so take my opinion as one has never saw it before. But I did a couple of tests and of course, you want to print a Benchy, I print it upside down and it turned out really cute. This is a washable green resin I had bought before even getting the printer. But what surprised me the most is this print. This was the Nova 3D test print that was already on the hard drive of the printer and the level of details of this print <laughs> it's something that I said oh my god is this true I don't know if in camera you can get the idea but seriously the level of details also on miniatures I found a little bit tricky and hard to remove the supports but where the supports got off nice and quickly you don't even see that there was a support there of course my mistake sometimes i did something wrong i learned uh, i learned by doing let's say that but overall it was an impressive uh, impressive prince i did this chess uh chess pieces here and they come out came out really 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 good of course printed out also the octopus that was on uh, as a sample <laughs> detached from the base and it was really really nice while i was printing i decided to do something at the beginning i thought it was stupid but then uh probably worked it worked good this print here is a print that comes with the Elegoo Mars. It's roughly, let's say, three centimeters tall. It has a pair of stairs inside and writing all inside. And I tried to print this, but 50% scale with the Nova 3D Elfin 2. And the result <laughs> is pretty impressive. All the details are there, the stairs, all the stairs are there. I don't know if that's a DNA and also the writing inside the tower, even though they're really small, you can see them. And this blew my mind. This is like half the size and, you know, details become much, much smaller, but at the same time, they're there. So position of this of this printer is something that left me like really really speechless overall it's a great experience and this printer make, made it like really really good my impression is that you get a really really great value for the money you're spending really really great prints i'm afraid i could not do a time lapse of the print coming out because it was very hard to focus through the, this UVA uh, protector here, but I'm gonna find a way to do that. So probably you will see some time-lapse 
video, some resin laps, how they start to call. I'm investigating on how to do them. So that's gonna come in future videos. In conclusion, it's a really, really great printer for a beginner. It was my first one and my experience was really, really amazing for the price being 250 euros on Amazon, 200 euros on AliExpress or other Chinese stores. All the links will be in the description. They have promotions ongoing these days. It's a great deal and you have a resin printer that can give you amazing results. That was all for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed my review. It's not a comprehensive review, but that's my impression and that's what I usually look for when I watch reviews on 3D printers. User experience is really, really important and tells you a lot about a 3D printer. Smash the like button if you did like the video, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and I'll see you guys on the next video.